So email, um, we're hearing a lot about email. We're hearing how it doesn't, there's, there's not that many solutions out there that offer a comprehensive email as a channel solution for Amazon Connect. And yeah. we, we've already un, always undersold as we've gone, yeah, we do email. But, you know, we route it. We can do intent based. We can route it to uh, an agent. We can surface the customer record within whatever the CRM is, Salesforce, whatever it might be. Um, and but then you can do, you know, you can do send it to uh, back office with um, via a case or a task um, and channel concurrency. So agents can deal with multiple emails, uh, social media, WhatsApp, chat, whatever it might be. And then they can park that when a voice interaction comes in. And, and you know, we have the we get asked, well, why isn't the agent busy Yeah. when they're dealing with an email? And you yeah. go, well, they're going to deal with it a lot quicker if they know that a call might come in mm-hmm. and it it also means that's the efficiency of it because you can yeah. sit working on him i mean I'm, I'm kind of um characterizing agents in a negative way and i don't mean to but there's a greater urgency when you're working on something and you know that um a voice interaction might come in but you can park it you can park two or three yeah and then go back to and then, and then you know to, to get then get reports on it as well um it's, I think, it's I comprehensive think the- you, you hit the nail on the head. We, we're coming across customers who have multiple Outlook boxes, 10 Outlook boxes, and someone's going into those boxes, they're reading the email, and they're manually um, sort of routing them to, to or allocating them to agents. So quite a timely, you know, time sensitive uh, and resource drain, really. And I can't imagine that role being too uh, stimulating, to be completely <laughs> honest, right? It can't, it, I wouldn't jump out of bed on a Wednesday morning going, great, I've got 100 emails to distribute manually. <laughs> so I think one thing we do do well, as you just touched on, is distributing work evenly and fairly among agents. And because accurately. You, and accurately, because you'll always get the agent who cherry picks, right? I've yes. done the job. I, I worked as a contact center agent for many a moon before I got into what I'm doing. <laughs> you right didn't now. cherry pick, did you? Oh my god! Yeah, well, so blend, blend, and blending those channels effectively between email, web chat, social media. I think that you know can can definitely improve and streamline the the, the whole contact center operation, no doubt, right? Yeah. And, and also the, the thing about, you know, if it's coming in on a different email address, route it somewhere else. If it's coming in with a different intent, route it somewhere else. And to be able to find something in the body of the, of the text or in the title, a customer ID, whatever it might be, and then surface information. So it's context, but then marry that with everything else in the desktop, um, you know, interaction history, the journey. Um, it, it's suddenly complete. And whereas before we just thought, well, it's just another channel. It's just like the WhatsApp. It's just like chat, you know, but then you find out, hang on, hang on. Not everybody's doing that. And then yep. when people come to us and say, I want I want this, 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 and you go, well, we're already doing that. So um, I think if we, if you share your screen mm-hmm. um, and let's just walk it through. Yeah. Why not? Let I, me feel know like I, can... I, should, I feel like I should explain the fact that I've got a beard. Yeah, um, it's and quite it's January. Right. Okay. <laughs> and my and my, um, my my wife is uh, not pleased because she wants me to shave it off because she hates me having a beard. Uh, she's trying to convince my children that I look like Mr. Twit. Um, <laughs> and it's literally for the month of January. My and wife, that if my wife had it her way, I would look literally homeless. She loves long hair, wild, you know, big beards. Yeah, it's only, it. so, it's only so far I can uh, I can take that, really. <laughs> anyway, back to the desktop. Yes, we're looking at it now. I see there's a waiting contact. There is, is indeed. Email? Yeah, there's one contact waiting in the queue. I'm going to quickly make myself available just so you can see, you know, how an email, an inbound email can be routed and how an agent would typically uh, handle that channel. So in comes the email. I'll quickly expand it. This poor customer has lost their luggage in Cardiff Airport. So just a use case. Um, you can tell you know, the customer's a little bit worried about that. So they're looking for the process, I guess, on how to reclaim luggage that's been lost. What is cool is we can show the customer data. So at a glance, you can see the customer and their details. 
And as with all channels, uh, voice and written, we show interaction history. So all the previous times the customers made contact with the contact center. Now, although we do uh, offer an omni-channel solution, this customer just loves an email. So that's their preferred channel of choice. So on the left-hand side there, where it says inbox, is that your, the things that you've got in hand at the moment? Exactly, yeah. So that could be 10, that could be 10 emails. Right. And what's that duration there? Duration? What yep. do you mean? Uh, this timestamp here? In, no, in interaction history. So in interaction history is the is the the time it took for them to receive the email, review it, and then respond to it. Right. So you could okay. say average handling time. Ah, okay. So that we can work that out from those stats and obviously there's a feedback uh so you could then go actually i want to send them an mps survey as well i mean that is something that we could provide um it's not available in this particular demo scenario uh we normally capture net promoter scores on voice interactions and at the end of a web chat but we are working with the customer who would like to uh send uh, NPS surveys via email at the end of an email interaction. So it is uh, the technology is there. You know we can uh, feasibly achieve that. Okay, and and also I guess that interaction history. I know it's just emails there, but it would normally be anything, wouldn't it? It'd be WhatsApp, it'd be Facebook, oh, yeah. it'd be voice. Yeah, the, the different icons will show you the, the the channel that the customer came through on: voice, email, web chat, social media, and all that would be displayed in the interaction history area. Cool. Let's reply then. So we'll reply to the email. You can reply or you can reply all, of course. There's only one person in this email, so we'll just reply. Um, worth noting as well that we can transfer the email to a different queue or department. So if for any reason the email came through to the wrong department, not that that happens very often, uh, then of course you can transfer the entirety of this email to a different queue or department. Um, we're working with a particular customer who wants to be able to transfer to other agents. So again, you know, being a problem solving uh, sort of company, we're looking to uh, to bring that into the solution. So we're we're always enhancing it, right? So, so that that's an interesting one because I've I've been asked that where someone has said, well, actually, I want to I want to forward the email, um, and it's not to somebody who isn't in the contact center who isn't logged in as an agent. I want to send it to somebody else, and but then that's not that's not contact center, right? That's Outlook. You're you're sending an email to somebody else, whereas we can create. So if the agent is owning the contact with the customer, then in theory the agent should hold on to the email. The agent then creates a task and says to a back office person or a case with a task within it to say, can you please do this? Because then you're kind of monitoring all the tasks that are created, all the things that the back office people are doing, but the contact is from the the agent who has control of the email. So I, I think there's two ways to do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's email handling, which is, you know, quick fire emails that an agent can review and quickly respond to. The cases element that you just mentioned is more about email management, right? End to end yeah. kind of management of the email. So, I mean, as an agent, I can freehand type and start responding to the email. Of course, you know, that's what you'd naturally do. Um, what I like about the application that we provide is um, we do provide message templates, OK, um, which are quite valuable. Um, they provide like a structured response framework, um, which kind of eases that cognitive load for the agent that we always talk about. Right. Um, so uh, an agent without templates would have to sit, review their email and then figure out the best way to articulate the response, which can be time consuming. Right. And you've got to get your creative yep. hat on to respond effectively. Um, with Omni Engage, we can uh, train into the system categories, message categories, um, and these are available across all written channels. So email, web chat, social media, and also SMS. So in this scenario, the agent's not drafting the email from scratch. You select for it, this, uh, this um, use case is a loss of luggage. That's the category. And then we've got one template under that particular category. So I've just utilized that template. Um, in this demo environment, 
uh, the agent would simply need to tweak the body of the email to correspond with the response that they want to send. Um, and then they're in a position then where they can respond effectively to the, the customer query, right? But if you've got a really if you've got a really tight integration into a CRM, for example, could you auto populate that so the agent isn't even typing that? It's almost like um, the the email is complete, but you just need the human element to just read it through and go, yeah, that's correct. Boom, send. Exactly. Yeah. With deeper integration with CRM, we can pre-populate some of that information dynamically. And then again, the agent then is sense checking, is this the right message? Um, and but they can go ahead and, and send that response. How does it know that that's your signature then? So good, good question. I mean, uh, this is the, the signature that I created. So if we head over to the settings area of Omni Engage, that's mm. where the the agent then would simply, you know, create the uh, the, the email template. Right. So as you saw then, when I moved away, it kind of parked uh, the email into ah. drafts. Uh, I've got three in drafts at the moment, and I just quickly retrieved the email that, uh, that I'm working on. But just scrolling down, just want to touch on this. Uh, you know, we've got a nice toolbar um, available for, for the email component. Um, all the usual functionality that you kind of expect to be available, um, including attachments. So you can attach pictures and, and diagrams and whatnot. Um, and yeah, that's where you'd you'd access the message templates as well. Awesome. When it comes when it comes to actually responding to an email, um, we've got two different options for that. You can send, or you can send and complete. So send really, uh, maybe you're sending an email to a customer asking them some open questions, right? You're expecting the customer to respond uh, to that email. So when you hit send, it sends the email response to the customer. Um, and when the email, when the customer responds to that email, we just look to route that email through to the original agent that handled it for consistency and continuity purposes. Um, the other option is send and complete. Now, this is a great example of send and complete. This is me giving the customer um, our process, our protocol. So like almost a final email response. Um, and in that sense, uh, send and complete sends the email. It breaks the email chain. Now, if the customer did choose to email back in, it would just be routed through to another available agent. Um, right. Obviously, provided they were they were logged into Omni Engage. So a couple of options in that sense, right? So that that is so if you so you might be asking a question, they've sent you something and it's a trail, an email trail, and you're just asking a question, and then it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay, okay. So open email conversation and a closed email. You got it. Yeah. When it's a closed email, then that would be dealt with as a first contact resolution right if you've sent an email response you press that that would end and close that email thread whereas if you hit send it keeps the thread open and you can continue uh, liaising with the the customer brilliant i think that's it i think that do it then yeah them, please let's do it so we'll send and complete you're given the option then to leave some uh, some notes relating to the interaction. Um, so we'll quickly just drop some notes in. And, that's, and, and that ends up in the interaction history if somebody else now gets an email. Exactly. So I captured the category and wrap up. Once that's been complete, the agents then brought back to the desktop where they're available to handle uh, other interactions. Brilliant. And in the middle of that, if they're dealing with three and you're still in an available state and a call could come in because obviously a voice interaction trumps everything else, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. No, I like that. That works. I like that. Well, um, I think we need to get out there and tell people about how awesome it is. <laughs> yeah. And, and trialing it. I mean, we invite customers to jump on board and, and, and have a test drive, right? Seeing is, of course, believing.